What is up everyone, today we have a different kind of video. Normally I do one gun a video, but today we are looking at a combination of two guns, the Kilo 141 and the MP5. The reason I want to look at a class setup of these two together is because I believe it can be a very strong combination if used well. And let me tell you this, I do believe the Kilo is a very underrated weapon. A lot of people are always sticking to the Grau and the M4, but in some ranges the Kilo actually performs better. So without further ado, let's start with the Kilo. The first attachment will be the monolithic suppressor for more damage range and some sound suppression, a must use attachment on any AR. Next up is the Syngard 19.8 inch Prowler for more damage range, bullet velocity and extra recoil control. Combining this with the monolithic will make the Kilo have the best possible damage range profile it can have. Up next is the Tech Laser, this will increase the overall mobility and also the ADS speed. I care a lot about my ADS speed so a Tech Laser is one of the better choices on any weapon. Next up is the VLK 3x Optic. On almost any AR I just use the iron sight, but with the Kilo I will use a scope and the reason is pretty simple. I want to use my Kilo for long range engagements and because it has one of the best damage range profiles combined with great damage and RPM, I want to have an advantage against AR users with only iron sights. In closer engagements I will switch over to my MP5. And I believe the VLK is the best option for long range without slowing the ADS speed down too much. And finally my last attachment is the 60 round mags. A lot of people will say that the 100 round mags are better but I believe it is a preference thing. Do you want more bullets and slower ADS speed and mobility or the other way around? It's your call. So this is my Kilo 141 class setup. It is built around range without slowing the ADS speed down too much. It's great for mid to long range engagements against solo players or whole teams. Just keep this in mind with the Kilo. The recoil pattern is up and to the left. It will not be as steady as the Growl, but it has better damage output if you hit your shots. Just try it out and see for yourself. Before we go to the MP5, what other gun do you think is underrated for Warzone? Let me know in the comments and tell me why it is underrated. Now let's look at the MP5, one of the most used SMGs in Warzone. Because I use the long range Kilo as a primary, I will make the MP5 more close to mid range focus. Let's look at these attachments. First up, I am using the monolithic integral suppressor and the reason I use that instead of the normal monolithic suppressor is that it does exactly the same but it gives you some extra range as well. I know it doesn't tell you it does, but it does. Next up, I use the tag laser for more mobility and ADS speed. Great for the MP5 and close quarter engagements. Up next is the ranger foregrip for more recoil control and some aiming stability. The MP5 does kick a bit so having some extra recoil control helps you in a lot of gunfights. And next up is the 45 round max. Even though it does decrease the mobility, having extra rounds in the mag will be beneficial in Warzone. I tried the 10mm ammo, but it didn't really feel better than the normal ammo in my opinion. And finally, the stippled grip tape for even more ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. So as you can see, this MP5 is almost completely the opposite of my Kilo build. It focuses on speed and ADS speed with a little range buff. It is a perfect weapon next to the Kilo. Both of these weapons have pretty clear preferential fighting spaces. The Kilo is for the long range fights while the MP5 is for the close range fights. I believe these complement each other very well and if you are interested you should try it out yourself. One last tip I would give to you is, use the amped perk so you can switch between the weapons very fast whenever you need to. My name is Exceptional and if you enjoyed this class setup please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel it would mean a lot to me and as always I will see you in the next video.